All right, uh, I only got one dude, but this time I went through that little vent to the left. And uh, so I can get this guy. He's the guy that saw me last time take out the guy in the middle. So I'm going to get him in his little side hall here. Just get that over with. And then he will not be a problem. And, ooh, a frag grenade. Now that is tasty. Uh, what should I dump for that? How about some ammo I'm never going to use? I don't know which. Sells for more, but whatever. Now we got a frag grenade. Of course, I'm also carrying around like for remote mines, but whatever. Alright, so this will be much easier to handle now. I can just get this guy when he comes over to this side. Be out of range of those two. Wait for energy. Boring, boring. I could just eat a bar, I guess. But I like keeping them for when I really need to use them quickly. Bar, by bar I mean energy bar. You get little power bars. You've probably seen me pick up a couple of them. They fill up one of your batteries. The only battery that recharges naturally is your first one, so there's no fucking reason to get more. It's stupid. It's better to get the recharge upgrades. I guess that allows you to use lots of your powers in combination, but you never need to do that. And sit. Just shoot this guy in the head, but I think there might be someone in that storage room. Oh, maybe it's just him. I think there might be a second guy. Or at least I don't know, because I haven't Yo, scouted it. Oh god. No, no one is here. No one is here. <laughs> Woo! Alright, well, that was almost horrible. But we made it. Thanks to our double barreled shotgun. Ugh. It's annoying. I mean, can't pick up something they've got. And do do do. And this guy. Sorry, buddy. Just can't take the chance. You know how it is. Okay, so. Looked all up in there. Here we go. Practice kit. That's just like one straight up point to a uh, 
spend on augmentations. Do I have any? Other? I need two to unlock the drum alarm. Oh god, that'll be nice. You saw that one 10 millimeter pistol bullet. It's like the simple stuff in the game. It took me down to like 32 health. It's pretty rough on this difficulty. So what I should do is just skip this turret. But instead... I'm gonna blow it up, because it gives you XP. And it's part of my rules. Peace out. And I'm gonna go in that room down there. Isn't that handy? Virus software. Part of the hacking. Maybe this one will be. See, I had that password, but why when you can just hack it? Alright, so this one's a little more interesting to look at. So, the way the hacking works is to successfully hack, you have to get the green ones. There's almost always one. Some of the more advanced ones have two or three or four. Um, that's like the normal goal. The folders are nothing, they're just obstacles. The little hexagons are bonus stuff. So you can either get money or experience or the nuke or the stop viruses, which I'll tell you about in a second. The little gears do something. Clearance, which is this one, clearance, um, gives you a minus two to all the data stores, The little hexagons, I guess they're supposed to be cubes. Anyways, there's also one called spam which lowers the level of the security node. Um, and there's one called soften which lowers the level of everything around it, and transfer which like adds two to one and subtracts two from another randomly. So as you can see, to capture this node I have an 80% detection rate because I'm horrible and it's level two node. Um, the little paths here are either two-way, so I can, you know, go two ways here. If I was here, I could go that way. And there's also one-way nodes, which of course doesn't matter because you can only get there one way anyway. But anyways, and the final thing to know is that, well, once you get detected, you have time. Like, it's you don't automatically lose. The security node starts sending out its thing, and when it captures your node, that's when you lose, which sets off an alarm. Um, the final thing is, if you can capture the security node itself, it gives you everything. It gives you, it, you not only win the hacking, but you get all the data stores without having to get them individually. A lot of times, there'll only be a one way out from the security node, so you can't do that. But here, I can. So screw this place, I'm gonna get everything. Oh, the other thing is the stop and the nukes, which are you have up here. Granted. Stop uh, freezes the security count for five seconds, and nuke instantly captures a node, so you don't have to wait for it to fill uh, with zero percent of detection. So that's what that does. Now this is just security. If I had points, I could have controlled that turret, but I didn't. But what I can do is turn off that camera, which is useless because I can just go around anyway. But Let's see. Hello. Oh god. Oh. Oh lord. Oh god. There was a flash grenade. Mine. <laughs> that I just walked right into. Eh. You know, whatevs. Cutscene. Step away from the console. Now! Uh, uh, dab. Uh, okay. Well. And so much for that. Son of a bitch. 
He was just trying to beat me to it, I guess. Pritchard, you still there? Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub in case it's booby trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Wrong way. Oh, son of a bitch. Forcing you to go in here and trigger the cutscene. Anytime you see an elevator like this, it's kind of like... I'm sure it's cover for loading, but... It's kind of like a new level. I mean... <laughs> more than just literally, in the video game sense. That's rough. Man. Sucks for those guys. Guess SWAT's just doing it the Jensen way. Oh, okay. Hi, guys. Doop to do. No, that hurts. Drinking a beer. That's a pocket secretary. Eh. Mostly, pocket secretaries don't have any interesting stuff like the emails do in terms of story. It's mostly a really, really transparent way to give you codes and uh, passwords. <laughs> 